Everybody, whether you're here with us in person or whether you're with us online, it's good to be, it's good to be together in the house of the Lord or in your own house with us. Hey, our uh, children's message is going to be held over till next week. Uh, I got word this morning that several of our kids are sick this morning you know, and not with us. We have a special kids message and we're going to hold that over till next week. Amen. And now we have, uh, it's time for our announcements. We have our uh, Good Neighbor Outreach Meeting uh, with St. Vincent de Paul <coughs> and with Calvary Church uh, this Tuesday. Uh, this is Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. here at Asbury. All are welcome. Uh, we had a church conference. There are booklets on my round table in my office, and if anybody would like to pick them up. We have a Bible, we have a Bible study this Wednesday, continuing with the defining verse. And Pastor Charlie this Wednesday is going to focus on the woman at the well. Amen. Look forward to that. And um, amen. So that, that's our announcement. Do I have any shout outs at this time? Anything anybody would like to give? Janice. I do. Just um, wanted to let you know that there's a flyer with your bulletin today. So if you get a chance, just take a look at it. If you want to do a Samaritan shoe box and don't want to go shopping or out in the stores, it tells you how you can do it on this flyer. Amen. <clears throat> Janice just did a quick shout out. I want to make sure everybody heard that there's a, a special insert bulletin that gives you another way of doing the box if you can't physically do it yourself. Amen? Amen. Amen. And uh, you also have in your, uh, in your bulletin, you have a little index card, which will come in handy, I pray, uh, during, towards the end of the service. And then if you don't have an index card, uh, I have some on the, the tables in the overflow, some on the rear, if you need one, and I have some at the altar, the penny as well. Amen, amen. Now shifting to our prayer time, shifting to our prayer time, uh, you have prayer cards in your pews, you have a special prayer request, please fill those out, you may place them in the offering plate. And uh, they'll be prayed for during the week. We have many prayer needs. We thank God that the gay men came home from the hospital yesterday. And many prayer needs, many prayer concerns, many serious needs, many unspoken needs in and beyond our local church. May we come before the Lord for just one second. I want to tell you, I have my miracle Bible with me today. I call it my miracle Bible because I placed it on the roof of my car <laughs> when I finished the service, the memorial service at Lakeview on Friday. And it remained on the roof of my car. I found it still on the roof of my car under the blessed <coughs> ski rack. I don't ski, but it does say Bibles. <laughs> okay, I found it, I walked out, and there it was, a little, uh, you know, some folds in different places, but I found my miracle Bible on the roof of my car, right outside the office door. And uh, I thank God for my miracle Bible. Amen. On, on, on the miracle car with the, with the ski rack. Amen. Amen. It just placed itself perfectly. So I will be reading promises in scripture today from the Miracle Bible. Let's come before the Lord in an attitude of prayer.
the way. Lord, we pause right now for those here and those who are home, those who are listening sometime down the road, for any special needs and requests that we would like to bring before you right now in the silence, in this special time. God, your word says, Psalm 32 8, I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Lord, help us to pay attention to your leading, to your counsel, Lord, and to your guidance. We pray this in your name. I will lift up mine eyes under the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. If anyone sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the perfect offering for our sins. And not for our sins only, but for the sins of the whole world. Lord, we thank you for the forgiveness of sins. We thank you for the new life which you offer each of us. Help us to walk in this forgiveness and in this new life which you give to each of us. We love you and we need you, Lord. We pray for our church. We pray for the church of Jesus Christ. We pray for the good neighbor outreach. God, we pray for our nation. Lord, have mercy. We love you and we need you, Lord. Pray for our president and vice president. We pray for our Bishop John, for our DS Hector. We love you and we need you, Lord. And in this special time, again, we, we pray for unspoken needs in and beyond our church. You pray for the Shanahan family, particularly for Lloyd. We thank God that you have brought him safely home. We pray for Lawrence and Idell, for Dick and Nancy for Gwen, for continuing prayers, for special needs, for Joe Riker, Lord, for Michael Craft, <coughs> for Linda, Mary Ann, Shirley, Sharon, Natalie, Richard Sweeta, Carl, Harold and Reverend Harold and Thelma, Naomi, Pat and Joe, Barry and Eva, Peg and Red, Again, for our good neighbor, neighbors, particularly Ed and Brian and Idell. Lord, just have your hand upon us. And Lord, we're going to learn about a, a special man in the Bible. His name is Joshua this morning. He was facing so many challenges. And Lord, in our lives, we face challenges as well. And God, we just ask in your name that you have your hand upon us, God, and that you lead us and guide us, and that you help us to pay attention to you, what you're doing, and you're leading and guiding in our lives. <coughs> again, just we pause again for any special needs that need to be lifted up before you. While well, another is our call, Lord, do not pass us by. Lord Jesus, and as you have taught us, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, 